What's going on, everyone? Hope you're having a good weekend. Well, it is Sunday. Or had a good weekend, I guess. Um, we're gonna, or I'm gonna talk about uh, air hammer bits today. Just a little bit different video. I got a new air hammer bit. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I kind of want to talk about and it wasn't enough to do a video on by itself. So I want to talk about my air hammer and the bits. I use the most, some of my favorite bits, application I use them in, all that good stuff right after the intro. Alrighty, so, um, we'll talk about, I guess, my air hammer first. It's a Mac AH650. I think you can see that. It's a long barrel air hammer. I also have a cheap short barrel, if I can't get this in. Um, really no problems out of this air hammer. The one issue, and it's not even an issue, comes down to airflow. This thing consumes so much air. Lots of compressors can't keep up with it. That's about the only problem. I mean, it hits hard. It does everything I need it to do. So, yeah. Um, you can see... These are pretty much all the air hammer bits. I don't have a uh, pickle fork air hammer bit that for some reason I couldn't find. I'll have to track it down. But I have them in a SK wrench rack because they fit and it keeps them organized. And I have some long air hammer bits we'll get into. Uh, classic chisel bits seem to be really popular but this is what inspired me to do a video right here this is a mac tools air hammer bit there's the part number i believe you guys can see that ah32203 i believe this was an inch and an eighth chisel bit scraping bit Uh, for me, this size is really good for chasing off rivets. I got Roy right here. Let's see what this thing is. Let me get Roy that you guys can actually see. Oh, clear. Great. So that's really good gonna be super hard to oh well wow. hey camera where work inch and eighth line chisel bit but what's different about this bit this happens to be another mac air hammer bit is the shank as this these four cutouts kind of like a rotary hammer if you've ever seen one versus just kind of the, the shape the, i call it mushroom but Call it whatever you'd like to. So that is designed to work with the quick release chucks that I found on most air hammers today. So put it in, pull it back. You can see it's free to move back and forth, but it doesn't turn, which is really nice if you can't hold the bit, because then the bit doesn't want to spin on you. Just thought that was really cool. This was a one I got back from warranty. For those of you curious, this bit is $69.99, I think. I know it's over 50 I think it's about 70 bucks before tax. So it's a pricey bit, but it's really nice. Warranty if you ever break it. Um, That's a cheapy bit. 
Uh, just, uh, just a uh, chis uh, pointed bit. Use it for knocking out rivets after I chisel heads off made by Mac. AH-911. Not sure if that's all valid part number. These are kind of old. I know that that one is a valid part number though. This one's a super handy one for driving out bushings and stuff. I use this one a lot. Mac AH913. Yeah, 913. So that's uh, about a half inch pin punch. Super handy. Then just a uh, cheapy. It even says series, it's not even a craftsman. Focus. Thank you for my way again. Yeah, series. I'll sharpen this one out. This one's a also very handy air hammer, but I don't know if I can get you a point number. It's a snap on. PH671? G71? Someone put it down in the comments. Basically a flat face. I think they call it smoothing bit or something like that. Super handy for just rattling on stuff. Here's the Mac version. H945. Just a little bit longer. So these are all just cheapy air handling bits. You know, standard Three-quarter inch chisel, inch and an eighth. Again, use it super handy for chiseling off rivets. And this one's just, uh, got to grind that back a little bit more. Just, uh, another chisel. Sheet metal cutting bit. You know. Another short taper punch that needs to see a grinding wheel rivet bit for uh, hot rivets and this thing this is a they make a half inch version too by the way this is a SK tools 91701. This is, I think they call it Bolt Rattler. It's like the, I think Mayhew makes them. Blue Point has um, Shake and Break. So, Air Hammer. I showed this in my SK Tool Hall. Air Hammer. Put it on a wrench. Then you have a socket so you can just rattle a bolt and turn it. Kind of handy. Again, just a SK wrench rack. Um, favorite air hammer bits? Mine is this guy. This one has been used a lot. And it's kind of a pricey bit too. I can't remember exactly what I paid. But I remember I was shocked at how much this thing costs. But well worth the money. I don't even know why I bought when I had this one that I probably used. Probably because I couldn't find it or something. I went, oh, that's a cool art hammer, but I don't have that one. Finds this one in the bottom drawer. Uh, wide chisel. Another one of my favorites. Regular chisel, super useful. And then... The long punch. Probably... Three most used air hammer bits right there. So. I do have a air swivel on there. It eats up a little air, which doesn't seem to hurt this thing at all. So, you can see the 
and Floyd ball bearings that lock this thing in. Probably gonna get boot for this soon. Because, well, it needs it, frankly. Um, I know Mac has a newer red and black composite air hammer that hits harder than this one. And probably is a little bit better on air. But I have this one. It was a good deal. It works. Why replace it? So, yep. That's about it for today. Text Talking Shop has a new series up. Go check it out over on the Text Talking Shop YouTube. Uh, Wyatt, a.k.a. Uh, Kentucky Tech just threw his video up. It's our uh, go bags, call out bags, road call bags, or if you want to call them, what we keep, how we organize them, all that good stuff. I'll be filming mine tomorrow. It'll be up sometime next week. Uh, it's July 11th now. So, yeah. Uh, definitely going to be a good video series. I'm interested to see what everyone's steps are, so be sure to check that out. Uh, links down in the description to the Text Talking Shop Instagram and YouTube. Also down in the description, uh, my links, you know, Bolsa, Toolganizer, Bolster. I think Toolganizer's down there. They really should be. If not, I'll be sure to put them down there. Um, yeah. Alright, that's all I got for this one. Have a good rest of your weekend, or whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time.